All local biotech company is moving forward with its experimental COVID-19 vaccine. Inovio is now conducting phase two trials. Pfizer's vaccine is already being distributed and Moderna is just days away from getting approval. ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Okala shows us how Inovio's vaccine is different from the others. We've been working really hard to move our vaccine through the stages of clinical testing. Like Pfizer, Moderna and AstraZeneca, Inovio also raced to develop a COVID-19 vaccine this year. I think certainly some things have, have taken a little bit longer than we'd hoped. Dr. Kate Broderick, the senior VP of research and development at Inovio Pharmaceuticals here in San Diego, says with funding from the Department of Defense, Inovio has moved into phase two clinical trials this month, testing its COVID-19 vaccine candidate on approximately 400 people in the U.S. We hope that in the early part of 2021, we'll be going into a really large phase three trial. Broderick says the company aims to initially enroll about 6,000 participants in its phase three trial once given the green light. And data from Pfizer and Moderna studies showing safety and efficacy of their vaccines was positive news for this biotech company. We feel we're in a really good place. You know, there's 8 billion people on the planet, and so we're certainly going to need quite a few different types of vaccines to ensure that everybody's protected. Broderick says one major benefit of Inovio's DNA vaccine is it doesn't have to be stored in low-temperature freezers, making it easier to ship out worldwide if approved. In fact, we can keep it at room temperature, so just sitting on a desk somewhere for about a year with no impact. Inovio is projecting to have 100 million doses ready to go in 2021. Broderick is still urging everyone to continue wearing masks and social distancing. It is definitely an end in sight, but, but don't let your guard down too fast. Amy Alcala, ABC 10 News. Inovio also announced this month that it received millions of dollars from a government agency to an antibody treatment for COVID-19 patients who aren't vaccinated. They're working on that now and hoping to get into clinical trials in 2021.